So you see there, it's like, whoa, pop. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today we're looking at animation in Canva and how you can use animation elements in Canva. And there's a really great new option in Canva where you can animate elements individually. So not only can you just animate all the elements coming onto the screen in one go and then going off, which was the old way, now you can animate in different ways. So let's dive into Canva and have a look. For those of you that are new here, my name's Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative. So if you're looking to up your game and create better content using Canva, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. I'll also put a link down there to a 45 day free trial of Canva that you can try out. So make sure you check that out and all the links down below. And I'll also put down there some other notes and any other videos that I reference in this video for you. So let's dive into Canva and actually get on with today's video for you. Okay, here we are, we're in Canva. And this is probably the thumbnail that I've chosen for this particular video but I thought it was a really good option to show you how you can animate different things I mean we've got these different elements here which kind of give it a little bit of a, a sparkle and you can group different elements and things like that as well if you've not watched my video on grouping elements I'll put a link up here and down below in the description for you on how you can group elements both in the uh, web based version and also on the mobile version but what we're looking at today is how to actually animate our elements now when we come on We've created our design using all our bits, our uh, emojis and things like that. And sometimes you'll see that this option here and it's called animate. And there's all sorts of things here that you can do to animate your designs. And it's not just these designs that we're going to look at. We've got some other options as well. There's a tumble. There's also photo elements as well. So you can do all sorts of things and you'll see the ones with the crown the ones with the crown are the pro elements so if you want to use like either the drift the stomp the pop the baseline baseline is one of my favorites and definitely worth the um, pro subscription in my opinion and there's also a neon effect which i really like because it gives this really good glitchy effect that's all great and that's amazing and once you've applied your uh, elements or your animations so let's say we want to do this pan element and we go back and it just brings them all on in one go yeah, fantastic gives a little bit of an animation there and you just come over here to download this and you download it as an mp4 video you can also download as a gif it's definitely gif and not gif if you say gif then please have a word note that the mp4 will have sound the gif will not have sound on there as well so if you add audio to your videos that you create in canva then you'll need to if you want to have the audio on there you'll have to download that as an mp4 now really exciting new feature is when you come on and you can highlight any of these elements and i'm going to group a couple of these elements so i'm going to group this one and this one and then i'm going to just position move those to the back so that means that, that allows me to then select some of the elements on top here and what i want to do is i only want to so if I click here, if I click on none, so there's now there's no animations on there whatsoever. So if you've added animation and you want to remove it, you have to come on here and you have to select none. So that's how you can remove the animations if you wanted to. Now, if I wanted to come on and I say, right, well, I only want to animate the text options in here. So I'm going to group all those together. I'm going to animate the text. And what do we want it to do? We want it to rise. So there we go and don't worry we can come on to other options here so we're coming on there and that's fantastic we've got the animating rise there however if i can select this option here in the background of the um the p pinky color i want that to be a different kind of effect i want that to fade in and you'll see now when i click on play that that element they so they still rise from the bottom but the element, the pink element, now fades in. How cool is that? You can actually mix up your elements. So you can have some that kind of like come in one way, some that come in another way. And we'll see that I grouped these little excellent or little kind of giffy marks, if you like. Um, I grouped those in a different way. So I want to now animate those in a different way. And I'm going to go with pop on these ones. So you'll now see that our text will rise in, our pink element will fade in, and the 
kind of like the exclamation marks at the side will kind of like just kind of pop in so let's click play on that and have a look i'll just play that in back the background so you see there it's like whoa pop and then the element comes in i absolutely love this option to be able to mix up the elements and how you can change how the elements are animated on and off the screen i think this is going to be a really great new feature to canva it's been rolled out at the moment it's been rolled out during april but i'm allowed to tell you this early um uh, before you probably see this so make sure you do click like and subscribe down below because anything new coming out with canva i will be showing you as soon as i can tell you there's some really exciting things coming out in canva and this is just the start of it that I can tell you about. So do make sure you click like and subscribe down below. And the other thing that you'll see is that you'll have in when you've when you'll have seen over here when I was just clicking on it generally, you'll have seen some of these are page animations, but this the bit emoji is also a photo animation. So I can add that in there as well. So however I want that one to come in. Oh, how should we get this one to come in? Um, stomp. I don't want him to. I want him to kind of like pop in as well. So let's. My little bit emoji there looks nothing like me. <laughs> if you're any good at creating bit emojis, or yeah, it's called bit emojis, isn't it? Yeah, bit emoji, bit emoji. There's no e in it. It's just bit emoji. So if you're any good at creating bitmojis and you want to create one on me, create one. I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram or join my group. I've got a Facebook group that I've just started. So if you're interested in joining that, I would love to sh see your creations that you're sharing in there. Ask any questions that you've got. It's a new community, but I can see it growing. We're up to 1,500 subscribers at the moment on the channel here. And I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you that has clicked that like, click subscribe, and you're all part of this journey with me. I don't see this as just me teaching you. I see this as us kind of building a community that we've got here and learning how to better use Canva for our businesses and things like that. Anyway, I do ramble on. And don't forget, when you're exporting this, that you will export it as an MP4 video if you've added music to it if you don't want music or you're not interested in music and you just want the animation you can download it as a gif so you just click on download and that's where you can then share it if you upload it to a social media platform obviously one will play as a video one will just be an animated gif that will normally loop so for this option i might choose gif okay so I downloaded that as an a gif which is different from a video video as i say is something you'll want if you want to add audio to there however i've downloaded this as an animated gif and i've just uploaded that to my better content creators facebook group if you're not a member of the facebook group i'll put a link down below but it's just called better content creators i'd love to see you in there do make sure you come and join us because you get a sneak peek at least before i've managed to finish editing this one you're getting a sneak peek at this video that's coming up and you'll see there that it's just playing over and over again on a loop it's just it just creates a little bit more engagement it's a lot more engaging than just you know a, a static image this one here is one that i posted a short while ago and it's great i mean i don't get me wrong celebrating 1500 subscribers is amazing but this one just catches your eye a little bit more because it's got movement. We're creating movement for your images and your social media posts that's going to capture other people's eye and attention. People are not just going to scroll back and they're going to be like, oh, what was that? So have a play about with it. Let me know. Come and join in the group. Share your creations. I really want to see them. Tag me on Instagram. All that. And until next time, thank you very much and bye for now. Hey.